Hi guys, very good evening. This is Sundar Ravindranath here. Hey guys, who are all here? How is everybody doing by the way? Awesome? Okay. Hi Nagajyoti. Hi Priya. Hi Kritika. Hi Aditya. Lovely, lovely to see so many of you guys. Awesome. So guys, welcome to this uh, part two of the NCRT solutions for the completed chapter, which is land, soil, water, natural vegetation and the wildlife resources. Okay. So again, as usual, we will be, that's the deal, the gentleman deal between both of us. Right. Now, as usual, we will wait for a minute for a few more guys to jump in. And then we're going to jump, kickstart the session. Yes. Awesome. So, let me see. Hey, Ogurab, don't tell me I'm late. On time today. Hi, Bulbul. Hi, Pratiba. Guys, a lot of people are there. Lovely, lovely to see all of you. Welcome to this wonderful session. Yes. Okay, so, right, slowly let us start by the time everyone joins, is it not, give me a minute, so Young Wonders, who are we at Vedantu Young Wonders, my dear kids, we are a channel as you know for 6th to 8th grades, our focus is these 3 grades and every day you will find that uh, we conduct sessions for all the three grades and what do we cover we cover four subjects entire year syllabus apart from that numerous general knowledge quizzes you will also have uh, uh, you know a spell b contest right apart from covering the entire syllabus for all these four subjects clear so great place to be so do not forget to subscribe to the channel yes all right i think we should jump in Okay, guys, by the way, one quick piece of information, Vedantu's best subscription, Vedantu Pro, right? We are, it is coming to you now at a massive, massive discount. Okay, a subscription which was almost 4,000 rupees is coming to you at 2699. All right, so and covering so many subjects and that too taught by the best teachers in India, truly worth it, guys. Note down these two links. One is vdnt.in slash ytpro. That's the link for the course. And uh, the, the one at the, you know, the one below, which is SWRPRO, that is nothing but the discount code. So all you guys have to do is go to that link, vdnt.in slash ydpro, choose your grade, click on get subscription. You can see the features of this subscription, unlimited, uh, you know, live sessions, doubt solving, beautifully crafted notes, uh, tests and assignments, which will ensure your score improvement lot of stuff guys that's too much and uh, you know that's a lot in fact I, I should too much probably might be a right wrong way of addressing it okay so click on get subscription choose the number of months you would want to you know take up and type the discount code buy it so there you are live interactive classes by India's best teachers and the complete curriculum will be covered very structured way in sync with your school syllabus Lovely, isn't it? Make use of it. All I can say is that. All right. Now moving on to NCRD solutions now. Just a second, guys. I would want to. Are you guys ready? So as I said, I'm going to give you the question. You guys got to answer. Hi, Richit. Sports quiz. Smashing gamers. Already we did a sports quiz, right? Guys, I will ensure we did a uh, we do a quiz on countries and flags. Let me see how well you are able to identify the different flags. Okay. Right. Hi, Sangeeta. How do I forget you? This is exactly the words I told you the last time also, right? Okay. Take the correct answer. Number one. Which of the following is not a factor for soil formation? My dear kids, come on, come on, come on. Jump in. What is the right answer? Is it time? Is it soil texture or organic matter? Which is the right answer? 
I'm waiting. Hey, Vijay. Come on, come on, come on, guys. Which one of the following is not a factor of soil formation? Time, soil texture, or organic matter? See, 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 everyone is saying organic matter. Come on, guys, how can organic matter not influence soil formation? It is a definite factor for soil formation. Time? No, time is also important. For soil to get formed, you need that time, right? Slowly soil formation happens with time. So the right answer is soil texture. Yeah, now you are able to see. Soil texture is the right answer. Moving on. Which one of the following methods is most appropriate to check soil erosion on steep slopes? Wherever there is a slope, you know, obviously landslides, soil erosion easily happens. So what is, uh, you know, among these three, there is one method which is deployed to check soil erosion. Shelter belts, mulching, terrace cultivation. Come on, let me see how many of you say what. Kind of eager to check your responses. All these, no Maya, no, no, no. Terrace cultivation, guys. Remember, I do not know. We dealt with so many options. Uh, intercropping, terrace cultivation, contour plowing. Lot of, uh, you know, uh, methodologies I, I taught you guys that day. Terrace cultivation is one with which you, you do it in slopes. Alright, so that the soil erosion doesn't happen that easily. Okay, question number three. Which one of the following is not a favor, not in favor of conservation of nature? Number one, switch off the bulb when not in use. Is it going to conserve nature? Number two, close the tap immediately after using. Is it going to conserve nature? Come on, let me see what you guys say. Kind of eager guys, I'm pretty eager to see what you guys, uh, you know, respond. Hi Sai Pawan. Hi Siddhant. See? Okay, guys, it is C. Wow, awesome. So dispose poly packs after sh shopping, right? When you keep doing that, what is, what is going to happen? Slowly it gets accommodated and it is going to spoil the soil, thereby the vegetation, pollute the entire environment, right? That is why, right, th this one, the third one, disposing poly packs after shopping is not going to help us in any way to conserve nature. Clear? Okay, cool. Moving on. Now it, we are moving to the next segment, my dear kids, which is true or false. State whether it is true or false. Are you guys ready? Sarvesh, what is your doubt? Guys, anyone has a doubt? Tell us, are you clear? If you have a doubt, just let me know right away. Let me clear it and then we'll move on to true or false. Correct, Rajkumar. Dispose poly. See, when you dispose the polypack, what is going to happen? The soil, the entire environment is going to get polluted. So that is not in favor of Nature, conservation of nature. Are you clear? Okay. Chemistry. Put your name beta. How will I understand, right? I will not understand whose name it is. Put your name, okay? My request it is. It's not an instruction, just a request. Right. Suravi, if you have a doubt, you got to put the doubt. How will I know that you got a doubt? Hi, Aradhya.
Okay, guys, moving on. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. State whether the given statement is true or false. All right, Ganga Brahmaputra Plain is an overpopulated region. Guys, is it true or false? Come on, let me see if you guys remember or if you you know it. Ganga Brahmaputra Plain of India, you know that surrounding that area, Ganga Brahmaputra Valley, as we call it, right? Is it is an overpopulated region? Is it true or false? True, 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 true. Wow. Very true. Okay. Got it. Great, guys. Water availability per person in India is declining. Number two. And needless to say, it is true. I'm sure no one will say false, right? Per person, the amount of water that is available for an individual in India is coming down day by day. The, one, the quantity, right? So both are true. The answer for both is true. Yes, true. Ganga Brahmaputra region, again, it's an overpopulated. And whatever availability per person in India is on the decline. Awesome. Gets? Rows of trees planted in the coastal areas to check the wind movement is called intercropping. Rows of trees planted in the coastal areas to check the wind movement is called intercropping. Come on. Let me see if you guys are answering it right. What are you guys saying? Yeah. False guys. It is false. Yes. False. Now question number four. Human interference and changes of climate can maintain the ecosystem. Human interference and changes of climate can maintain the ecosystem. In what way it is true? I don't think it is true. What do you guys say? Is it false? Come on. Yes. Look at it. Both are false. So, rows of trees, it's, it's not called intercropping. Intercropping is putting the crops one beside the other so that, you know, it avoids water to go, you know, water from going out and the soil also from getting eroded. That is called intercropping. Human interference and uh, changes in climate can maintain ecosystem is not the, you know, it's not a right uh, statement at all. Both are false. Yes, Richard, you are right. Guys, moving on to the next segment. Discuss some more reasons which are responsible for change of land. Okay, land use pattern. The way we use land, there are different reasons which influence that, right? Discuss some of the reasons. Is there any place near you, okay, which has undergone change in land, the way land is being used in recent years? Guys, Thousands of examples are there, is it not? Because agricultural lands, now you know there are different ways in which, uh, you know, land, uh, they, we, we started using land. Number one, I'll give you an example. The moment the demands of human beings started increasing, we started destroying all the uh, vegetation and started building, you know, constructions there. Correct? Number one. Now you know where we are going? Now people are going back to farming. Number one, uh, number two, and you know what is also in when it comes to procuring land, people are procuring a lot of agricultural land now, right? So there are different ways the land use pattern is changing rapidly. So people and their, their demands are changing, very dynamic it is. However, the availability of land is limited. The quality of land also differs from place to place. 
the soil the fertility of the soil in one place can never be the same right so people started encroaching lands to build complexes you know i think i just spoke about it and in cities especially and even agricultural lands slowly they started expanding and moving towards agricultural lands as well even there you find so many plots are being built they will you know put the uh, uh, what do you call that as landmarks is it not to say that this plot is for sale how many of you have witnessed that my dear kids how many of you have seen an agricultural land where people buy it and say plot is for sale menti is going to start now guys two more slides and that's it we are jumping into menti people started encroaching very you know common lands to build commercial areas right that's the problem now they had their needs are increasing and they are not leaving even agricultural lands okay so expansion of agriculture and construction activities are all causing all the problems even if you need to do agriculture the problem is what you need to destroy vegetation to use that land you for you want to do construction again you need to destroy the vegetation so all right kids i think we are done pretty simple isn't it so now you know what is the use of land soil you know uh, natural vegetation and wildlife resources and what are we going doing about it yes guys jumping on to menti now if till this are you very very clear any question encroaching is occupying occupying illegally got it give me a yo guys come on let us jump into menti then if you guys are pretty clear about it Sayali, you started again. <laughs> awesome. All right. Okay, for people who are new, let me tell this, guys. So uh, you have to open a new window and type in the address bar www. menti. com m e n t i. com menti. com. Right. Here we go to menti. and the code is going to ask you for a code the code for today's menti quiz is 67940 67940 i repeat what is menti yeah it is a third party quiz open a new window don't close youtube open a new window and type menti.com and once you type it it's going to ask you for a code you got the code that you guys got to type is 67940 4 hey guys see you all of you quitting youtube don't do that come on come on come on deepak sir you are ignoring me shwetu guys intercropping guys intercropping is growing you know these small crops leaving small some spaces so that they grow they build kind of barriers barriers to avoid uh, rainfall rain water from getting wasted when when it rains okay especially in uh, if you look at it in uh, different regions this intercropping is done to for two reasons one is to preserve to for rain water harvesting so that the water table becomes very strong and number 2 to prevent soil erosion from you know soil being uh, carried away by the water are you clear okay guys jumping in starting the quiz come on be ready hi snehalata 
Procuring is buying it. Purchasing, buying, getting, the way you call it. Guys, if you have any questions, put hashtag Shiksha and type the question. I'll ensure it is answered. I see many of you are typing some doubts. I'll ensure I answer all your doubts. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Here we go with the first question. Question number one. Land covers only dash percent of the total area of the earth's surface. 40, 30, 50, 20. Guys, most of you have quit YouTube, right? I see the numbers are coming down drastically. Then you can't hear me. You will not get my clues also. Last five seconds. Arushi is saying, started. Easy PC, sir. 30% exactly. Land covers only 30% of the total Earth's surface. And within that, we, we do so many gimmicks, right? That's the pathetic part of human beings. Yovraj, Saili, Boba Gump, Pratiba, Arushi, top five. Sidali, I love Sundar, sir. Thank you so much. I'm honored. Ted, Venkat, and Richit. Next five. Awesome kids. Jumping on to question number two. Which among the following landforms offer suitable land for agriculture? Plains, river valleys, mountains, both one and two. Think, think, think. Beautiful question. Plains for agriculture. I am again repeating, it is for agriculture. Properly think and answer. Do not hurry. Time is up. How many of you chose? Oh, 118 of you chose option D. Wow, good guys. Guys, it is in plains. You can easily do agriculture. Simple. And river valleys are always the soil will be very fertile and water will never be a problem. Are you understanding? That is the reason both 1 and 2. Option D is the correct option. So, moving on to question number 3. Before that, the leaderboard. Arushi. Yes, Arushi is the top. Richet, Rupesh, Anish, Sai Gayatri, top 5. Srinidhi, Pratham, Srihari, Shwetu, and Terminator. Next 5. Kids, question number 3. Be ready. Private land is owned by? Simple. Government, individuals, panchayat, none of this. Can I ask you a simpler question than this? <coughs> Private land is owned by? Government, individuals, panchayats, none of these. Individuals, obviously, yes, is it not? We own whatever land that we have, that's a private land, and we are individuals are owning it. Leaderboard after three questions. I don't think it's going to change much. Let's check. Arushi, my dear Arushi at the top, Richard number 2, Rupesh number 3, Sai Gai 3, 4, Srinidhi 5, Anish, Srihari, Sanya, Zaid and Aditya, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Awesome kids. Moving on to question number 4, probably a few more questions after this. So be ready. You still have chances. The community lands are also called as common property resources. Normal property resources, informal property resources, none of these. Simple question.
टाइम इज आप हाउ मेनी फ्यूचर वाओ ऑसम गुड गाइस दैट्स लाइक माय बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स 179 ऑफ यू इट्स अ कॉमन प्रॉपर्टी सो इट्स अ कॉमन कॉमनली शेयर्ड रिसोर्स राइट कम्युनिटी लैंड्स ओके आफ्टर फोर क्वेश्चंस वेयर आर वी आरुषि इज स्टिल एट द टॉप लुक्स नो आई थिंक रिचित इज स्टॉपिंग Richard at the top. Wow. Arushi at number two. Srinidhi three. Srihari four. Sanya five. Anish, Sai guy three. Chavi, Lithin and Aryan. Next five. Great job, kids. Great job. Good fight. Come on, give it a tough fight. Keep shuffling the leaderboard. Question number five on your screens. Which type of soil is found in India? Alluvial and black soil. red and laterite soil desert and mountain soil all of this if you have listened to this one question will indicate to me that you guys have properly prepared you are prepared with the chapter or not so kind of happy because more than half of you got it right 127 of you all of them guys naturally you will find alluvial black soils and all is in gujarat maharashtra etc red and laterite soils in different you know the higher regions desert and mountain soils everything is available in india Richard still at the top, followed by Arushi, Srinidhi, Anish, and Lithin. Top five: Sanya, Aditya, Sai Guy, Three, Terminator, and Aryan. Next five. Kids, question number six. Richard at the top now. Richard and Srinidhi. No, Arushi. I'm sorry. How many liters of water is annually wasted in a dripping tap? Lovely question, is it not? Enlightening question. Thousand liters? Thousand two hundred liters? Fifteen hundred liters, eighteen hundred, eight hundred liters. I'm sorry. No problem, Karan. Keep it up. Keep it up. If you know the answer, that matters. Whether you participate in the quiz or not, it's okay. What can you do if the net is not working? Guys, you chose almost everything equally. 1200 liters 1200 liters of water annually gets wasted in one dripping tap how sad it is and we keep saying there is no water richard still at the top well placed followed by arushi anush aditya and sanya top 5 aryan gupta srinidhi rimora pinky and hariyom next 5 Guys, probably we are moving towards the last question for today. Be all ready, gun and gear. Here we go. Richard, well at the top. Oh, was there a problem? Kidney failure. Kids. Richard still at the top. Wow, Richard is winning today's quiz. Six thousand eight hundred and eighty-seven points. Well done, Richard. Keep it up, beta. Many congratulations. Followed by all, everyone in the leaderboard. Many congratulations to all you guys. Great job done. Come on, and people who could not participate. All right, do not worry. Do not worry. It's just a question. Tough luck today. Keep fighting for it. Keep learning from it, and keep competing. right all the best guys hey kids 
I hope you liked today's session. Hit the like button and let me know that you really liked it. It was a very crisp but informative session. And newcomers, this is how the sessions happen. You will really, really love it. Hit the subscribe button and motivate us. You will, I'm sure you will not be disappointed. We can guarantee you that. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. It was lovely interacting with all you guys today. Until I meet you guys tomorrow. All right. Uh, this is myself, Sundar Rabindranathan, signing off, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay indoors. Listen to your parents, my dear cats. Bye-bye. Have a lovely evening. Premjit, if you have any questions, please put hashtag Shiksha and type your question. I'll ensure I get you the answers.